Okay, before we launch, I wanted to go over the fact that I already upgraded, as you right click on here, the launch pad, and I want to upgrade the astronaut complex, and this is why. Right now, I can only ha hold five Kerbals. If I upgrade, I can get 12, but most importantly, I can do EVAs, and since we are going to go into orbit, we have enough time to do an EVA and get some science, so let's do that. Also, I'm going to uh, do the tracking station, which is 150, spend that money now, so I don't have to spend it later, because you're gonna have to spend it regardless. Let's get in the vat. Here's our pretty rocket, let's go to launch pad. Okay, here we are with a pretty rocket and we are going to the freaking moon. No, we're not, we're going to orbit. Shut up, Ross. Okay, three, two, one, lift off. Okay, and we're gonna power down to 30%. We're gonna let our solid rocket fuels and boosters carry us up. Save that fuel in the main stage. You still want it burning though, to kind of help you gimbal, because this one swivels. Swivel, yep, it gimbals. So that means that we can kind of aim a little bit here. Okay, and, and, okay, full power now. Okay. We got a nice, now we're doing a little bit of gravity turn. We're gonna hold it right here for just a second. Okay, we want to escape, the, uh, you know, this is what we're trying to escape is the atmosphere. The longer that we are in the atmosphere, the more delta V that we're using. But we wanna do as a delicate uh, balance. We want to get the curvature of this orbit already pre-established so we're not spending so much delta V out there as well. So this is called the gravity turn and actually trying to do it and um, get pretty much a nice orbit. So if we hit M here, we can see that we're trying to push out this Apple Oasis away from us, but at the same time, gaining altitude. We can hit this little triangle and see right here that we're at the orbit speed now, and this is kind of holding steady, and that's where we want it. So we, oh, shit, stage. Yeah, you can't stage from that, freaking, so. Let's uh, push it out again. And now we're gonna wait for about 70,000. That's what we're looking for. Okay. And getting closer and closer. We hit X as soon as we see 70 and X. Okay, 71. Okay, we have more than half, almost three quarters of our fuel load left, which is perfect. Front tank is empty and middle tank is almost full. Rear tank is full. So let's aim at the horizon mark right here on our artificial horizon. Well, actually, this really is an artificial horizon, but yeah, this is the horizon mark. We're gonna aim right there, and then we're gonna fast forward and get to our top of our apple oasis. Yeah, I know I'm butchering that. Sorry for my words. Okay, now we can full power up, get this aimed straight at it, and we're going to try to keep this right in front of us as best we can, and circularize this, okay? Hopefully, we keep it right there, just kind of using our D to aim down, and then th up, and then down, and then up, nope. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We'll wait for it to get a little bit closer. Okay. Up, oh, where's that one? Oh, that's 50,000. Okay, so we, no, oh, come on. No, aim, 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 hold on. Okay, hold on, 73, 70. So that's an orbit. That's a circularized orbit right there. We have 73,000 apoiasis there. The uh, uh, periapsis is at 70,300. We have achieved orbit. Okay. Now, if we go over here, we can see the contract. We got 68,500 credits. Awesome. We have barely enough fuel, though. Barely enough fuel. But that's not a problem because we only need to we'll burn at the low end. Actually, no, I'm sorry, at the high end at our slowest speed and then we'll drop this and then fall into uh, orbit. So I know it's a little bit, uh, very little left, only 10 units, 
but nonetheless, we'll be able to do this. So let's um, collect our science, um, open our bays here. Let's see what we can get with mystery, my, mystery goo. Uh, absolutely nothing, whatever. So we'll reset that. Maybe we'll get something when we dive through the atmosphere. But one thing we can do here is a uh, crew report. Nope, can't. We'll reset that experiment. But what we can do is EVA. Yay, EVA. You hit space, you let go. R starts your thrusters. And then your shift is up and down. And then WASD. It does get a little tricky. You just small movements in space, small movements. If you try to shoot away, uh, if you hold down the keys too long, you will literally just fly away. Okay, so we have F to grab. We will actually do an EVA report. And you can see even be grabbing onto this is starting to spin the aircraft. Because, yeah, physics, baby. So let's keep that data and then hit B to board. And now we are in our rocket. So what we need to do right now is, well, nothing. Except for we need to kind of spin our aircraft towards our periapsis mark okay and we're gonna hold here with our sas as best we can or let our pilot do some work yep okay so now we just need to fast forward over here to our apple oasis and then burn to shrink our orbit and get back into the atmosphere now it might take some revolutions but nonetheless we can do it what's this contract uh Oh, yeah, we did that, okay. I thought I did another one, I got excited. Okay, so up here at the height, we are the slowest, and that's something to remember. At the lowest, you're at your fastest, at the highest, you're at your slowest in the orbit. So we're gonna wait for here, and then we're gonna burn our last remainder of the fuel so we can shrink this and fall into an unstable orbit. So it doesn't matter how long it, it takes, just as long as we're below 70,000, it will be unstable. So we'll burn in five, four, three, and burn, baby burn. And we're out. Let's see what we're at and see even that little bit of fuel has put us on a trajectory to actually land somewhere over here. But if you take an effect the atmosphere, we should be landing somewhere in the water. Okay, so pretty good. So let's, um, we can actually, uh, let's see, let's do an EVA real quick, can we? I think so. Hmm. So let's hit F5 for quick save, okay, always quick save. Yeah, let's EVA, uh, yeah, grab, can we, okay, we're gonna collect this data just in case. Yep, remove the data, and let's see, hold on, can we hit restore on this? Nope, only scientist members can restore. Interesting, okay, awesome. Let's hit B for board, and let's fast forward through the atmosphere. Actually, let's decouple for first. Yep, decouple. There we go, get rid of that heavy weight, get that away from us. Don't need that dragging us now. And now we can kind of Oh, now we're getting into the atmosphere. 69,000, it slows that speed, that fast forward. That's how you know. Let's aim straight at it. Straight at it. Good. And fast forward. Oh, look at that. You can see the moon coming over the, the horizon there, out in the distance. We'll be going there soon. I assure you that. Or actually, it's not the moon. It's called the Mun. Get it right. Ross. Bastard. Okay, coming in, 40,000. Okay, we're starting to burn here, okay? Let's aim straight so we have the heat shield take all the heat, in theory, right? I don't know how hot it needs to get for this to go down. I don't necessarily know if I want to find out either. Open this. Mystery go. I keep data. I guess it doesn't matter that it's open. Oh, it's oh 199. Oh, we are using it up. 198. 
197. Oh, that's awesome. We are 196. We're using that heat shield. Oh, wow. 194. I don't think we'll be, have anything to worry about on this, but it was. This is awesome. We're using this heat shield. Slowing ourselves down, too, is something that's very important to, to uh, consider is that it is a kind of shallow entrance into the atmosphere, and that's why we are taking a long time with this heat, and but we're slowing down, and that's very, very important. Well, especially since it looks like we're going to hit land. Man, I definitely did not plan that one right, huh? But nonetheless, I think we should be good. Now, one thing to keep in consideration is you don't necessarily know the height of the land that you're landing on. The ocean's kind of easy to tell because it's like zero, but land, not so much. So keep that in mind. Deploy your parachute early. Look at how much we slowed down. We're doing only 170 with no, we, we have nothing on. Like there's no parachute, there's nothing. That's awesome. Let's get the parachute out though. <laughs> Let's slow ourselves down even more. Oh, look at the uh, mun in the distance. So pretty. So pretty. Yep, I just took a screenshot. F11 for me is my screenshot. Okay, slowing down to seven and touchdown and 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 okay we flipped over. But it's a okay. We flipped over, no problem. We're still alive. Still alive. Observe mystery goo. Yes, please. Uh three signs? Sure, I'll take that. Uh crude reports. Uh we'll take that as well. Let's uh EVA. Whoa. Okay. EVA report. Uh five point six. Okay, we'll board. Okay. And now we'll EVA again. Okay, but we're gonna instead uh, hit spaceport to let go. Okay. We are gonna do another EVA report. Uh, keep the den, and actually, you know what? Let's plant our first flag. What is that, is that a rock out there? Is that a freaking rock? I don't know what's what's out there. It might be my engine stuff. Oh, look, Jebediah is all like quaint. He's like, oh, look, look. I got the moon behind me, I got you know, or the Mun. I got my spaceship, my rocket just sitting here. You know, I'm all cool. Yes, I need to figure out how to get that thing off. That overlay. Boom, perfect shot. Let's do a F2, and we're gonna do a screenshot for the channel. And boom, look at that. Now let's plant our flag here. We'll hit F2 to bring back the UI, and we're gonna plant our flag, and Mm, what are we gonna say? What are we gonna say in our flag? Um, hmm. Uh, let's think. Uh, Ross's flight. We, let's think. We traveled a short distance around curtain. Yeah, I think that's right. Boom. I don't want to say that stupid thing, that, or not stupid thing, but the one small step, because I mean, I think everyone says that. So let's uh, F on and climb and hit B to board. Boom. Now we can hit our recover vessel and let's see what we get. Now look at all that science that recovered. 57.6 science recovered from all the stuff that we did, uh, uh, observation from the carbon deserts, oh, just awesome parts. We got 3,600 back. We have funds of 233,000 now. And we also got Jebediah a experience point. Awesome. Let's actually get into the freaking, uh, actually, no, that's not what we want. We want to get into the astronauts right here. And now he has one star. What the one star means is that now he can actually provide benefits when we actually fly. 
So we can actually do this now and we can do for Bill Kerbin, Bob Kerman, and Valentina Kerman, the first female Kerbin. But we can do this for them and the reason being is the flying around is not that hard in the beginning stage, but if we can get each get them one point, then once we have three man missions, they'll be even better. Um, so let's get some science here again. We have 95 points to spend. So that means that we can spend about 40, 245s. So there's a Ro Rockamux decoupler. Uh, what's over here? Um, we've got a winglet. Oh, batteries. Okay, we do need batteries. Thermometer, comms. Yes, that. Um, and I think I'm actually going to go for the larger engines as well. So you can do whatever you want this is just the parts that i want and i think are best so we probably will be going for these parts right here soon as well because well we're gonna have to fly around in a jet pretty soon so yeah now i hope you guys enjoyed this episode a little bit longer because well we have to orbit around the planet and of course it takes some time if you enjoyed the video though please hit that thumbs up button hit that like i do greatly appreciate it if you like my content, please do subscribe if you're new to the channel. And as always, I am the Flying Ross. I'll check you guys next time.